I am currently working on getting the uh, DC5 Type R brake ducts installed. These are factory Honda units. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah, those are from Honda. And I'm working on getting those installed, so I'll just have to make a relief cut inside of the wheel liner, and then that will be fully functional. What I wanted to show you guys was is on this side, this mounts with a clip and an M8125 bolt. No, no big deal, no problem. This side, however, I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm just like, where in the world does this mount up at, you know? And I'm thinking like, oh, I've got to get rid of this. This has to go. Um, and I was kind of sad about that. Actually, no, it doesn't have to go. It has a factory spot right here where it clips in and goes up underneath the washer reservoir perfectly. But then up here, it's got this hole that isn't threaded. On the other side, the, the factory hole is threaded already. So you just stick a bolt in there and you're good to go. My solution, <laughs> rib nut it. So I'm gonna put an M8 rib nut in it. I'm gonna drill a hole, shove that in there. Then I'll be able to bolt it up. So I'm gonna knock that out real quick. So that brake duct is fully installed. Literally the only thing I have to do is tighten the other side and that's pretty much it. I've already got the front pieces inside the bumper. I can show you guys that real quick. And these couldn't be more simple. Uh, they just, you slot this part in, so you slot it in this way and then you've got two clips that clip in on the back. No hardware, no nothing. It's a lot simpler than the fog lights that were in here that I never got to work because I never wired them up or anything. Some of you might notice that uh, the splitter is now rib nutted in as well. So everything, the way that we bolt everything in now is super simplified and really, really clean looking. So I'm, I'm really, really pleased with that. The car is coming along really well. It's coming along super well. Can't wait to be able to drive it. <laughs> so now the last, you know, thing that you have to do, the most difficult thing for, you know, as far as I'm concerned, uh, with this whole install is we have to cut the wheel liner so that way the air actually has somewhere to go. Now, is this going to like cool the brakes down, you know, to a degree where you're gonna really notice a difference out on the street? Probably not. It's, you know, it's, they're never gonna get that hot. But, you know, I'd rather have these than not if we're gonna be doing any type of track driving in the future, which, you know, that's the plan. So, um, these are definitely gonna be a nice upgrade, especially over those fog lights that we literally never use. So, super stoked. So. I'm going to get like a, a Sharpie or something. And you, you, this doesn't have to be perfect. There's no way for the wheel liner to mount to the duct. So as long as the hole is about the same size, maybe slightly bigger than the exit of the duct, then you're going to be fine. This is going to bolt up to the bumper like normal. And it's, you know, it's, it's not going to, this is not going to physically bolt to the brake duct itself. So don't overthink this part. Like I said, I'm just going to get a Sharpie, maybe a razor blade or maybe, I don't know, some shears or something and cut in here and cut me a rectangle out so that way this can actually do its job. That part was already getting eat up by the wheel anyway. Direct fresh air coming in through the brakes. I dig it. <laughs> 